So in a day and age where we have accessible HD video cameras, I find it kind of ironic that many of us are chasing that old school film look. I think this is because video cameras have become so good, so sharp, so perfect that we are actually looking to deperfect it if that's even a real word. And I'll admit, I am part of that crowd that is trying to replicate the film look, even though I'm shooting on a Sony full frame camera with full frame lenses, 4K 10 bit video files. I personally feel like I'm chasing this film look because of the feeling of nostalgia that it gives me. That noisy film grain, the four by three aspect ratio, the color fringing, these imperfections that give the footage character and makes it feel like I'm watching someone's memories rather than just some quick edits and high res videos. With all that being said though, I actually don't have any knowledge on how to emulate the film look at all. I know most of the people will say, well, why don't you just go out, buy a film camera and learn how to shoot on film? And to that I say, that is expensive. And I've already invested way too much money into my current ecosystem, which is stable and makes sense for work. Not to mention, it's not feasible for someone like me to run a small business on it. So what did I do to accommodate? I did what any digital phony does and I tried a bunch of free LUTs. I consumed a bunch of tutorials and out of all this, I got nothing. I'd given up and accepted that maybe my life as a hybrid shooter will forever be filled with just perfect HD video until one day I got an email from D Hanser telling me we found you on YouTube and we think you are a perfect match to review our plugin. Honestly, it sounded like a scam, but my curiosity got the best out of me. So I bit and said, sure, I'd love to try your plugin. So what do I got to do? Well, Turns out Dehancer is a real company made up of real people with real knowledge on film emulation and have actually been used by real people. They even sent me all sorts of instructions on how to set up the plugin, how to install it. They even sent me a trial license to test it. So how could I say no to that? Oh, and by the way, before you start thinking that this is some type of infomercial and they're paying me to say this, they simply asked me if I wanted to test the plugin with no pressure, no bias, and give full honesty. All they gave me was a discount code FLP10 that I can give to you if you decided you wanted to purchase the software. And in exchange, I make a little bit of change to pay for the bills and you get a nice discount. So they have no say in my video, no input. This is all me, me, and me. And yeah, let's get back to the original programming. Anyways, I decided to use Dehancer on my footage that I have sitting on my hard drive and even on projects that I've already completed. Like I said, I'm no film expert. I'm just looking for something easy to use because I spend a lot of time already color grading and editing. So it'd be nice to just have something simple for once that you could just install and actually use. The plugin itself is pretty straightforward. You click install, open up the editing software that you're using, drop some footage in your timeline, apply Dehancer, then select from their various picture profiles and adjust the settings however way you'd like. I'm not gonna go too deep into the customizations because I feel like each person needs to play with them in order to create their own look. Otherwise, what the heck are you doing this for? After several weeks of tampering with this plugin, I'm really digging the results that it's been giving me and what it's doing to my footage. It's given some of my previous client work this distinct cinematic look, even though it that phrase has been washed out and used up a lot, but I really wish I had these looks way back when I did these projects. When I applied to some of my more personal footage and even random B-roll that I shot on my cameras, I get the sense of nostalgia like I'm peeking into a memory that I had forgotten about. It's cool that they have such a vast selection of film looks that you can apply as well. And again, I'm not gonna go all in depth into the settings because I think the profiles on their own already look amazing and they're easily accessible for both beginners like myself and professional film enthusiasts. So I feel like that's up to you to figure out how you want to tweak it and how you want your footage to look. So overall, I really like Dehancer. Like I mentioned, it's super easy to use and has room to grow if you're someone who's really looking to fine tune your visuals. Most LUTs and tutorials seem to do a really poor job at film emulation, but when I use the profiles provided by Dehancer, it gives me this feeling of authenticity. I feel like the people who worked on this plugin really love film and have done their best to create what I feel is the closest to a film look that you can apply in this digital day and age of social media and various picture profiles that you can pick by default on any software and applications. Again, when I apply it to my client work, it gives it the cinematic character that makes it hard for me to look away. And when I apply it to my personal footage and random B-roll, I feel like I just turn back the clock and I'm peering into a memory that I have forgotten about. And 
things that I forgot I shot. I plan on using Dehanza on more of my projects since it's given me this new spark of excitement to go out there and just keep shooting, keep experimenting, and keep creating memories. If you're interested in purchasing Dehanza, please go ahead and use my discount code FLP10 to save you some money and also help me keep the lights on. And as always, thank you for watching and an even bigger thank you if you managed to make it this far, looked at all my footage, and listened to my insight on this amazing plugin. Until next time, this is your boy Fong over here at FL Productions, and I'm out. Peace.